Welcome to PoePolitikin.com, your number one source for hip-hop without the politics. PoePolitikin is your MTV raps, meets reading Rainbow, meets Dr. Phil, or something like that. Follow PoePolitikin on all social media, at PoePolitikin. That's at P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N. PoePolitikin.com Yo, yo, it's your boy J Tech, and I'm on Poe Politic and vibing. Just pull the strap and shoot Stefan Clark just had a phone and they shot 20 times Can't imagine the way his family must have cried Shit is killing me softly, need to settle the score Problems weighing a ton, got me a little sore Stretching $10 for days, maybe a little more But this $10 is better than 5 it was before Pops always told me that money is money Whether dollars or pennies, can't mix hunger and greed Difference from wants and needs, now tell me what you need My plug got everything, something to ease the pain Something to ease the pain, can't mix hunger and greed Difference from wants and needs, now tell me what you need My plug got everything, something to ease the pain Something to ease the pain We need a better way to ease our pain Till you leave, and honestly, that's a fact. I learned the harder way, guess I had to get crossed. I don't trust you, then I'm gone. Guarantee that's your loss. No, I'm bad, Lord Shardy. Don't be wearing no bras. No, a couple of homies that don't be following laws. Down 3 1. Still, I never fold under pressure. Yeah, I've been going through a lot, but gotta hold it together. I'm a man now. Got me some fans now. Get some bread, flip it twice. Yeah, that's the plan now. You won't see my hand out. I go after mine. You ain't bought it in real life like you bought it online. I stop all that line. And keep it real with yourself Heard you dropped a couple albums that ain't doing too well Heard you was popping for a while but now you searching for help At least you taught me that them gimmicks won't sell Motherfucker, we on the come up Ay, Grind hard till the sun up Ay, I might be down for a minute Ay, Watch how I bounce back with this Ay, yeah, We on the come up Ay, Grind hard till the sun up Ay, I might be down for a minute Hey, watch how I bounce back with us. Hey, yeah, we on the come up. Grind hard to the sun up. I might be down for a minute. Watch how I bounce back with us. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com. You're home for Self Help Meets Hip Hop. Make sure you go on Spotify or on Apple, Google Play, type in PolPolitik and listen to my interviews in 2008. One, two, one, two, and place to be with JTech. How you doing? Good, man. Good, man. How you doing? I'm great. Why you go by JTech? Uh, it's just an abbreviation of my first and last name. Okay. And yeah, then, um, so. where's, your, where's your hometown? I was trying to figure out where you was from. Uh, PG County, Maryland. Okay. So, how's it being from Maryland? It's dope, man. I'm I'm actually not living there now, but I mean, it's it was it was dope, man. It was it's always home. I just I, I just came back. Actually, I was there like a month ago. So, um, it's amazing, man. I love it, man. So where you at now? I'm on the West Coast right now. I'm in Arizona. Okay, yeah, I'm in San so, Diego. Okay. Cool. So Thanks yeah, you we'll just, uh, just talk about your background. Let us know um, how you got involved with music. Uh, so, I, I mean, I always been in it, man. I can remember just, like, just being, like, 10, 11, me and my cousins just freestyling all the time. Um, and then in high school, I used to do, like, little freestyle battles with, you know, people at school. And then, like, actually taking it serious and writing, though, um, probably about, like, four or five years ago, I actually, I actually got really into it. Uh, and was like, man, let me take it serious. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go to a studio 
went to a studio, man, and it's just since then, man, just been going at it. But you music, lo- music has always been a part of me, though. You know, I'm gonna say, where you love like hip hop the most? Uh, just being able to tell stories, man, and like helping others, man. I don't, I don't know if people understand how powerful hip hop is. I mean, I think people understand now, but man, hip hop is so powerful, bro. I mean, music in general is just so powerful, bro. How it can change someone's life or like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Mm. Now, say, who would you say influenced you the most? Far as like some musicians you like. Oh, man, there's so many, but uh, probably J. Cole, though, the most, just because I, uh, I really got into him when I was, like, 17, 16, 17, so, um, you know, I understood music more at that point, but J. Cole, Kendrick is up there, too, um, Jay-Z is up there. I mean, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of greats in hip-hop that I look up to. And I say, what would you say, like, um, your story is? If it was like a backdrop about yourself, um, man, it's it's really just uh, staying positive throughout throughout the dark times. I mean, that's really what I push the most. I know, like, man, going through life without hope is like probably one of the worst things, man. So I really just try to give off hope as much as I can, and that's most important to me. That's that's really the story I push. <clears throat> It's crazy you say that because I was thinking about it. To me, if you're going through life without hope, it's like a zombie. So that's kind of where bro. they get Walking Dead and all that shit from. That's probably just the people that's walking around hopeless and shit. Bro, I mean, hope, I, I believe hope is the most important thing, bro. Hope and faith, really. Like, if you ain't got hope, man, I mean, it's like you really not living. Like you said, you're a zombie, man. So I just really try to give hope, man. And you know, and, and tomorrow tomorrow's a better day. Really, that's that's really my motto. And how would you describe your, your style as an MC? Um, I would say uh, I, re- I really love telling stories. Um, but I, I really never want to be boxed in, man. I really, I really go off feeling, man. When I hit the studio, however I'm feeling, that's really what I lay down, man. So what, whatever comes out, man, and how I'm feeling, that's just what I go with. So I, I think music is really feeling. So I, I go off that a lot. And I'll say, how how did you, uh, I was listening to your music, man. He sound, he's dope. Like, I really like it. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. But I was going to say, so how did you, like, in the, in the early beginnings, how did you learn how to rap? Like, somebody, like, showed you? Did you watch somebody? Like, how did you learn? Nah, it's crazy because um, my family it wasn't really big on hip hop. Like, uh. My dad listened to a lot of reggae. My mom listened to a lot of like gospel and stuff. My sister's a little bit, but like how to like how to rap? It's really just listening to the greats, studying the greats, man, studying a lot, um, and then just getting into it, like just just doing it, man. Writing, writing, writing. You know, practice makes you you know make you perfect, but should it make you better? So that's really what it is: just writing, 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 studying the greats and just going from there. I'm still growing, man. I'm still trying to keep growing every day. Yeah, and I wanted you to talk about Major Label. I, I, was, I saw that. I was checking it out. Yeah, so that's my independent label. I started with my man's um, Jalen. We actually started um, as a clothing line. So I started this clothing line about um, uh, three, four years ago. And then we were just like, man, we might as well just make it a label like you know what i'm saying so now we're pushing that as a label um also pushing out our merch through that and just going with that so that's that's my own independent label i own with my with my uh with my bro jalen and then what are your um i just want you to talk about some of the all the projects you came out with uh so um i came out with a mixtape some while ago i came out with a first mixtape uh (laughs) <laughs> about like 2015 mm-hmm. but like i look back on it man i had no idea what i was doing i'm just putting you know putting a bunch of songs together throwing it out so that was the first time i dipped in the water just you know that piff or whatever but it got good reviews so i'm like dang okay bet and then i put out another mixtape um and that got that went way better you know what i'm saying like it started getting a lot of love so and then I put out an EP with DJ Payne One in 2017, 
a six track EP. We did that. Um, and that went well. And then I just put out my debut album, um, Midnight Sunset, August 23rd of this year. So that's been getting great reviews and we just going. Why you call it Midnight Sunset? Um, it's really like going back to what I was saying. It's just giving hope during dark times, man. Like even when it's dark out, it can still shine, bro. Like, so it, that was really the mainstay of this album is just like giving hope, even going through dark times. Like, I mean, I go through, I went through a lot of dark times too. You know, I still go through my trials and tribulations and it's just like, man, all right, you can shine when it, you know, when you ain't in your best time, bro, you can still, you can still shine. You can still be happy. You can push through. And I want you to talk about some of your interests outside of music. Uh, sports, it's big on sports, like NBA, NFL. Um, I like just chilling, man. I really like spending time with family. I'm, I'm big on family. Like when I'm with family, I'm, I'm like in my happiest place. So I love spending time with my family, uh, watching sports, like I said, and really chilling, man. Just chilling. I'm, I'm very chill, man. <laughs> And then I want you to share some um, good life advice you learned. Man, I don't want to keep saying it, but just having hope through the dark times. Like, I feel like people lose, lose their hope when they're going through something. But if you can just keep that hope, man, like, the next day might be your best day ever. So you just got to wake up every day brand new and go get it. I said it will get better too if they wanted to get better. But some of them be thinking life is over. And exactly, bro. And that's where hope comes in, man. You keep that hope and just keep pushing. Like, all right, tomorrow gonna be a better day. You get to tomorrow, it's not. All right, tomorrow gonna be a better day, and just keep going like that, and it'll get better. Like you said, it will get better. Now, what's some good music business advice you learned? Oh man, just uh, keeping your head down and working. Don't get too. Uh, caught up in a moment don't get too hyped don't get too low just uh just keep pushing and stay grounded um and always show love man not even in the return of getting it back just show love bro like be genuine in this music business because there's a lot of people that's not genuine i'm gonna keep it a hundred but you yourself you got to stay genuine and you know it's it's always going it's always going to be returned and if not still stay genuine it's going to work out but how can you tell how can you tell they're genuine or not? That's the thing, you can't. You really <laughs> can't, bro. And that's why a lot of people get scammed. I mean, I've got scammed when I was first starting. I've gotten scammed in the music business. Like, you really don't know, bro. You just gotta fill people out and like you gotta make your call, like, I ain't gonna rock with it, I'm gonna rock with it. You take a L, you take that L and move forward. So as you go, though, as you go in the industry, you, you can figure it out a little more. Like, you'll figure it out. Now now I can tell pretty much. Um, you just got to look into it. Don't fall for no BS. But, I mean, it's the industry. You know, the industry is the industry, man. <laughs> I say, so uh, what do you say next for you right now? Uh, so we just dropped this album. Um, now I'm just focused on just continue to market this album push this album out and then get into some shows so we're working on that right now on our end so hopefully we 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 start touring with this album and and just keep going from there and then still working on new music so i got some plans for that continue to get my fans music and let them live with this album that just dropped as well I mean, where do you see yourself five years from now Man, I, I see myself as as one of the one of the rappers in the game that's respected. Man, like I feel like I drop a few more albums in the next few years, and I feel like it's just gonna keep getting better and better. And I'm gonna just keep putting that work in. And I, I think I think the albums are gonna be well received. So that, that's the goal. Yeah, you kind of sound like Kendrick a little bit to me too. Man, I'm that's. You that. that's a, I've gotten that before, uh, more so cold, but I mean, I always be like, you know, I, I just take it, take it like, damn, man, that's, that's dope. And then I, I still try to create my own sound as well. But I mean, they, they legends, man, they greats in the game, you know, some of the greatest of all time. So I definitely study them, man. 
and and try to learn from them. So that's always dope to hear. Yeah, what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I can't, I'm a hundred percent independent, man. I put my own music out with with my manager and Mike Trampy and and with my label, and we we put the music out, and that's it. I mean, like if it wasn't for the fans or supporters, I would I couldn't even do it, you know. So I thank them for supporting me and letting me be able to still be independent so i, I mean i i owe it all to them so i, I thank them for sure and anybody just not hearing about you through this interview let them know why that you go check you out and follow you uh man check me out if you want to hear some good music um just a good sound uh some bars um very heavy on lyrics um and also just making good music so if you you know you just want to catch a vibe Get some good music, man. Check me out. Jay Tuck. All right, man. I want to say thanks for coming through politics with me. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for having me. And we'll keep building. No doubt. You want to give me your social media? Any, sh- any shout outs? Uh, Instagram, J.TK. Uh, Twitter is I am Jay Tech. And Facebook, YouTube, um, Spotify, Apple. Everything is just J Tech, J T E K. And you can find me everywhere like that. in the hood they say that we can't fly the american dream is such a beautiful lie every shot not attempted is considered a miss my niggas pushing the rock like they was filming for chris father scratching them tickets said that he gonna win it and once he do he cop a mansion that is perfectly fitted i was fighting depression and didn't nobody know Kept it all by Dean while Pops was drinking the folk Guess that's kinda ironic, it probably runs in the fam Tired of saying this shit, I'm screaming fuck Uncle Sam Made mistakes in my past that I can't take back But if I could, so I wouldn't, that just paved my path It's not easy Before you load that piece Pray you reach 25 Before you do 25 Man, we gotta stop killing ourselves That's our life I know they want to hold us down, my nigga That's alright Too many car washes to cover the funeral cars Let's not kill, let's just talk If they push us, we push forward If they box out, we still score What's a life if you ain't feeling too safe? Shit is rough, but we're the biggie I can never lose faith I can never lose trust I can never lose you, I can never lose hope, I know you feeling it too uh. A drug and liquor store in every corner, I pray you meet the professor before you meet a coroner A drug and liquor store in every corner, I pray you meet a professor before you meet the coroner Cause it's not easy
The Poe Politicking Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.